and welcome to Little Acorns. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I hope that you're all all right, and everything is going just tickety-boo back at school. But we have been, over the last few weeks, talking about Moses. And I think it's pretty fair to say that it wasn't always tickety-boo there. Not at all. And today is certainly not a tickety-boo sort of day. However, if you don't understand what tickety-boo means, ask your teacher. They will tell you. So today we're going to talk about Moses escaping from Egypt with the rest of the nation of Israel and crossing the Red Sea. And we're going to do a story. And the story needs people to help. So every time we say, I say Moses, you will... Hooray! And every time I say Pharaoh, you will say... Boo! And every time I say the Red Sea, you will say... Swoosh! Swoosh! Excellent. Are you ready? Moses... It's a good start. <laughs> Called to the Israelites that they needed to escape Egypt. So they got everything that they owned and they set off on their long journey, following Moses Hooray! towards the land which God had called the promised land. Moses Hooray! encouraged them to hurry, to get away from Egypt as quickly as possible. When Pharaoh had realised that all the slaves had gone, he changed his mind about letting them go and he got very, very angry. He called for his army and told the soldiers to go and collect the slaves. I want them back. He, I want them now, shouted Pharaoh. The soldiers had been watching which way the slaves went. And they went after them. Pharaoh Boo. got into his horse-drawn chariot and rode at the front of the army, using his whip to make the horses run faster. As the sun started to set and darkness started to fall, Pharaoh Boo. He got more and more angry. He whipped the horses harder. He urged his army to run faster. And there was no way that Moses Hooray! was going to make fun of him in this way. He would recapture those slaves and punish them. The Israelites, meanwhile, had camped by the side of the Red Sea. Swish, swish. And they'd settled down for the night. The day's walking had tired them all out. Suddenly, Moses... Hooray! Had... So yes, thank you, well done. Moses heard a deep rumbling sound from over the mountains. He quickly realised that the Pharaoh was Boo. on his way. Quick, everyone, shouted Moses. Hooray! We need to run. And as the Israelites turned to run away from the soldiers, they realised that they could not escape. On one side was the approaching army. On the other side was the Red Sea. Swoosh, swoosh. They were trapped. Save us, Moses! Hooray! The people shouted, The Egyptians are coming to get us! Don't be afraid, said Moses. Hooray! The Lord your God will save you. Remain calm. Be courageous in your faith. God told, told Moses Hooray! to raise his arms above the sea. Swish! Swish! <laughs> And as he did so, some of the water lifted up and moved to one side. As it moved and churned, the people noticed that in its place was left a pathway that they could walk on. They stared at the walls of the Red Sea swish, swish. and the path through the middle which God had created for them. Now, said Moses, Hooray! let us go. And every man, woman, child and animal walked down into the tunnel of water, marvelling as they travelled at the sight 
of the sea, swoosh, swoosh, held back by the powerful, invisible arms of God. They were astonished to see that the fish were still in the sea, swoosh, swoosh, right up to the walls before they turned around and swam away again. How could this be possible? The Israelites were nearly at the other side when Pharaoh boom, and his army arrived where they had started. And although the horses and the soldiers were nervous, Pharaoh boom, urged them onwards. You must get those slaves. Find Moses. Hooray! Bring him to me. He waited on the Egyptian side of the Red Sea. Swish, swish and sent his army across. And once all the Israelites were safely across, Moses Ray! turned around. He saw the great army of the Pharaoh Boo! approaching, and with great sadness in his heart, he lifted his arms above the water once more, and the water which had been held back for so long rushed back together again, covering the approaching army, killing them all. Moses Ray! called the Israelites to stand with him. He lifted his face up to God and prayed, We thank you, O Lord, for saving us with your almighty and everlasting power. Miriam, who was the sister of Moses, Ray! led the people in song, and they sang songs of celebration in worship to God, who had saved them from their imprisonment. The end. Oh, that was a good story. And now we are going to sing a song about Moses escaping across the Red Sea. We hope that you can join in. show you some crafts that we've done and we hope that you have a great week. Bye. Bye. So let us pray. Dear God, when we're finding life difficult, we ask you to keep us safe from harm. Help us to find ways in which we can help ourselves and give us the courage to do what you think we must do. Amen. And if we keep praying, we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. See you next week.